Attorney General Paul Kihara Karioki has launched yet another attempt to save the Building Bridges Initiative driven clamor for constitutional amendments. So the AG, in his petition, wants the Supreme Court to overturn in its entirety the appellate court's judgment on 20th of August that stopped the BBI reggae. The government's principal legal advisors listed 10 thematic areas, among them the basic structure doctrine and its application in the Kenyan context, presidential immunity and IABC quorum that he wants the Supreme Court to decide on with finality. Francis Gashuri has the details. A French legal showdown looms at the Supreme Court after Attorney General Paul Kihara Karioki initiated an attempt to salvage the push for constitutional amendments before the country heads to the ballot in August next year. The Constitution of Kenya Amendment Bill 2020 is unconstitutional under usurpation of the people's exercise of sovereign power. The Court of Appeal had in August affirmed the High Court verdict, stopping the BBI reggae. Kihara, through Solicitor General Ken Ogeto, has listed 10 thematic areas as grounds of appeal in the documents he filed at the country's apex court. They are the basic structure doctrine, popular initiative, public participation, creation of new constituencies, presidential immunity, IBC quorum, legal structure to support voter verification, whether there should be a single or multiple referendum questions, and whether voter registration should precede collection of signatures in support of a referendum push. The Court of Appeal, in its judgment, dismissed the submissions made by President Uhuru Kenyatta, ODM leader Raila Odinga and the BBI Secretariat in defense of the Constitution Amendment Bill 2020. The basic structure doctrine is applicable in Kenya. The AG in his appeal insists that the basic structure doctrine was not applicable in the Kenyan context and that the appellate chamber failed to balance between flexibility and rigidity in amending the constitution to attain and maintain what he termed constitutional stability. The basic structure doctrine limits the amendment power set in articles 255 to 257 of the Constitution. But the AG in his appeal argues that Court of Appeal judges disregarded clear text of the constitutional amendment and imported the basic structure doctrine to replace provisions set out in Chapter 16 of the Constitution and misunderstood the historical context of the country's supreme law enacted in 2010. <laughs> According to the Attorney General, all articles in the Constitution can be amended, including a total revision of the document, as long as the process complies with Articles 255 and 257 of the Constitution on parliamentary and popular initiatives. There is also the question of President Kenyatta's role in amending the Constitution. The President does not have authority under the Constitution to initiate changes to the Constitution the AG differs with the appellate court's verdict and wants the Supreme Court to overturn it. He argues that the president's oath to obey and defend the Constitution does not bar him from initiating its amendment. Presidential immunity is also on the list of issues the AG wants the Supreme Court to determine with finality. Civil court proceedings can be instituted against the president or a person performing in the functions of the office of the president during their tenure of office in respect of anything done or not done contrary to the constitution. He argues that the president is insulated from prosecution while in office to allow him execute his functions without looking over his shoulders for fear of litigation. The AG also wants the Supreme Court to find that there was sufficient public participation and that IBC with three commissioners was constitutionally constituted to verify the signature submitted in support of the bill. IBC has also contested the Court of Appeal verdict at the Supreme Court. Francis Gashuri, Citizen TV.